What is going on guys, Unlimited Cop here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up EVE All-in-One. I don't really have much to say in the intro before guys, if you guys do enjoy this video or it help you out in any way, shape or form, please make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below for more awesome content. Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up EVE all-in-one. I'm going to be going through like everything you need to know, the whole UI, just everything you need to know about EVE all-in-one so you guys can cook with it. So as you can see now guys, we're on my computer, we're on the dashboard of EVE all-in-one. I'm just going to be running through this, showing you guys what you need to know and how you can cook with EVE. So as you can see up here, we have add tasks, you click that, you make a new task. You can edit your current task, you can mass edit, and with your mass edit, that's just going to edit all your tasks. Delete tasks, obviously you delete them. Duplicate a task, import, export, start task, stop, and quick task. Now if you haven't set up your quick task, I'm going to be going through that later in this video. Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to click that button and it's automatically going to start tasks for you guys. Anyways, moving on guys, we have the success panel. What this is going to show, like, let's say you have a task that checks out, it's going to show the product, the link, the login, the add to cart checkout, all that information right here. You have this handy dandy screenshot button that'll take a screenshot of it. You can clear your success list and you can post your success. Now what posting success is going to do is it's just going to post to the EVE Discord so you can kind of flex. It'll mark out all your information and all that so you don't have to worry about that. Moving on to profiles, as you can see here we have add, edit, delete, duplicate profile, import, export, privacy, groups, and logins. Now all these are pretty self-explanatory except for privacy, groups, and logins. Now if you click on privacy, what it's going to do is open up this little login page. And if you don't know what privacy.com is, basically it's a place where you can make virtual credit cards. I have a video on that. I will leave that linked in the description below if you want to check it out. But you're just going to log in here. And what it's going to allow you to do is make different cards for each profile. So you don't have to go through manually on privacy and like make a new one and name it the same thing. They're going to automatically do that for you, which is really nice. Personally, I really love this feature in EVE and I don't know if any other bot has it. So it's very, very useful. Moving on, we have groups. Now all this is really is just if you want to group your profiles, let's say you have certain profiles you want to use for Supreme, you can put those in one group and you have certain ones you want to use for Shopify sites, you can put those in one group. It's pretty self-explanatory, not that hard to use. Next up we have logins. Now this is a very, very useful feature that Eve has and personally I love it. They allow you to store all your logins in one place and each profile will just go from this list, which is very useful in my opinion. Like let's say you have 25 undefeated accounts and you have 5 tasks. They're going to run through and pick five of those accounts automatically so you don't have to go in and input the information. I don't really know if that made sense guys but like basically let's say you have a list of 25 accounts right here and you have 25 profiles. I don't know why you have 25 profiles. What it's going to do is it's going to automatically take from that list of profiles and input it into the task if that makes sense. So like you don't have to go through each profile and put in the username and password. Really nice feature in my opinion. I'm glad they implemented it. It does save a lot of time and it's pretty easy to use. Moving on to notifications, now personally I don't really use this. If I was going to use anything, I would use Discord. I mean you can set it up, it's pretty self explanatory. You just simply click the little on button up here, you type in what you want. So let's say you want to check out, you'll just hit the check out thing. If you don't know where to find your webhook ID, I'll leave a link down in the description below to this article. It goes through and explains how to find that, really simple. You just have to copy a link, paste it and take out a couple of numbers. And just like I said for the webhook ID, for the webhook token, it'll be the exact same thing. Just check the article down below and it'll go over that. And then here you have your message and as you can see right here you have the shortcut. So if you want to put like your product title, the task that you have, the username or the image, you just put the little hashtag whatever you want. It's pretty self-explanatory, not that hard to use. Moving on to CAPTCHA, as you can see now we can have up to 7 CAPTCHA solvers. Personally, I only use 1 to 2. Now if you are going to use 1, you will need proxies. I personally would recommend using residential proxies, but to use the CAPTCHA solver, all you gotta do is click right here and it'll open up this little panel. You log into your Gmail and you start watching YouTube videos and you'll hopefully get one clicks. Now I will make a whole video on how to beat CAPTCHAs and how to get one clicks very soon. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't, just so you're notified whenever I upload that. Now that's pretty much it for the CAPTCHA solver. As you can see, we have the auto click function, which I would definitely recommend having on. Just so if you get one click, so it'll automatically click it for you. And then the reload button, which will clear your cookies and you'll just have to reset everything. Moving on to the two caps and the anti-captcha. Now if you don't know what this is, I would probably just stay away from it. There are captcha solving services. I mean, I haven't really gone in depth on them. But you just put your API key in and they'll hopefully solve captchas for you. I'm not 100% sure on how these work and how fast they are. So I'd probably just manually solve your captchas if you can. Moving on to proxies. We have the add proxy list, the edit proxy list, the delete proxy list the duplicate proxy list, export and import. 
I don't know why I said proxy list after all those, like you can guys can obviously read. Um, basically you can import and export your proxies, pretty self-explanatory. You can add your proxy list here. You can just copy all your proxies and hit paste. You can test your proxies on each site. You can put the URL in right here, just hit start test. And then you can have the rotation be random or linear. If you don't know what linear is, basically it's gonna go down the list from like one to five, like it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And if you have random, obviously it's gonna be like random. <laughs> and then you can either ping the proxies or you can test them on the website. As you can see, we have the remove dead up here. Basically what this is gonna do, if you text your proxies and they're not like alive, I guess you could say, if they're not working, you can just hit remove dead and it'll remove them from the list. I'm not really going to go over log, it just logs like the data of your eve. It's not really useful for us, but the devs do use it whenever people have checkouts or whatnot. So it doesn't really apply to us that much, so I'm just going to skip over it. But if you're having problems with your eve, or you're not checking out, or you're getting some kind of error, you can check the log and see what's going on. Moving on to the settings tab, as you can see right here we have the version. You can just hit check for updates, that'll let you know if there is any updates to your eve. And then you can see the deactivation button, which is pretty obvious. It's gonna deactivate it off your computer, so you can either sell the bot, move the bot, or whatnot. And then as you can see right here, we have the checkout once per site reset. Basically what this is gonna do is reset all the checkout once per site profiles. So like on your profiles, you can hit once per checkout. What this button is gonna do is just reset all those. Now as we saw earlier with the quick task, basically what this quick task setting is gonna do is allow you to set up how you wanna run your quick task. So you see the default profile, the default proxy list, the default checkout proxy list, and all your delays and such. Next up, we have sizing. That's gonna be the exact same thing for your quick task. You can pick which sizes you wanna have, and then you can auto paste the link from your clipboard. And the payment resubmissions is gonna be like, if there's an error with your payment, it's gonna to try to resubmit it. Then we have the sound notifications. You can choose whatever you want. We have the master negative keywords, which is gonna be basically your keywords that are always gonna be like, not used i guess you could say like it's not going to pick that product if it has this keyword over any task anything like that if that makes sense i don't really know if that makes sense so like let's say you have a master keyword as a one it's never going to pick a product that has the word one in it we have the environment you can change that from dark to light it does not affect the bot at all and then we have the import and export it's going to import and export like everything on the bot and then the eve all in one is just going to open up the location of the log and the location of eve Sorry about that guys, my camera actually died so I had to take the battery out, charge it, do all that stuff. So now that we got all that other stuff out of the way, you kind of understand what the UI is and know how to use it, let's move on to how to set up tasks. Now first I'm going to show you how to set up tasks for a Shopify site, and then I'll show you how to set up tasks for Supreme. So starting up here, as you see we have the profiles, the proxy list, the checkout proxy list, and most of the time guys you won't have to worry about this, in fact I don't worry about it at all. I just set my proxy list right here and don't even have a checkout list. You set your profile right here. And then you can select from these preset Shopify sites. If your site is not on here, you can just hit other. If you have to have a login to check out, you can set that here. You have your direct link, the keywords, and the variants. Now direct link is pretty self-explanatory. The keywords, as you can see here, you'll put a link to the home page. You put your positive keywords and your negative keywords. You can search the last 25 products. You can pick which way you want to check out. You can do multi-cart if the site supports it. And if the Shopify site has a password, you can put that in here. Same thing for the discount code. You can use force capture if you would want. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it on all your tasks, but maybe do it on a couple of them. Same thing for legacy mode, I would probably split up 50-50, just to be safe. Moving on to general, you can set up which sizes you want. You can also include certain sizes and exclude some. Moving on to price check, what this is gonna do is check the price of the item, and if it's not between the certain parameters you set, it's not gonna select that item. Moving on to retry delay, usually I would have this around 1,000 to 1,500, depending on how many proxies I have and which site it is. And then for your checkout delay, usually for Shopify sites it doesn't matter. This comes in more to play whenever you're checking out Supreme. I would have retry on error on, your capture request you can leave at zero. And then moving on to advanced, as you can see here we have the capture settings. If you are using any of these providers, you can just click on and put a little one in there. But if you're not, I wouldn't worry about it. And then we have the watch task, the mass create, and the payment resubmissions. Now these are pretty self-explanatory. The watch task is gonna check another task to see what it's doing. So if that one checks out, this one will automatically run, or it won't. The mass create, you can create a bunch of tasks at once. And the payment resubmission, basically what it's gonna do if your cart gets declined, you can set how many times you want it to retry. Moving on to Supreme. Now this is pretty much the same as a Shopify task, except you will have to use keywords. You can set which page you want to check the keywords on. And then you can change your capture priority right here. You can set the color. Now I'd recommend using browserless for Supreme, but that's just my opinion. You can do multi-cart function if you would like. If you're in the US, it'll always be credit card. When it comes to general, you have the same sizes. You can do the price check once again. And then for your delay, I'd probably have a set like at a thousand. And then for your checkout delay, I would probably set that anywhere from 2,500 to 3,500 just to be safe. 
And then the same exact thing for the Shopify task. You can set your captchas and your watch task and you can mass create task. Now that's pretty much all there is to Eve guys. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, please be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer you guys. If I did help you guys out in any way, please make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more content. And if you are looking to step up your resale game, I do own a Discord group where we post early links and all the information you need to cop. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can check us out. And if you are new to sneaker reselling, honestly guys, I would definitely recommend joining the group just so we can help you find your first bot and help you get started. And if you guys do have any questions and you want to DM me on Twitter, my ad's just unlimited underscore cop. Hit me up on there and I'll be sure to help you guys out. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm Unlimited Cop and I'm out. Yeah, I run my city without running shoes. You ain't gotta wonder who. All these rappers sound the same. Damn, there is a ton of you. I just smirked the competition, did it right in front of you. Before I even learned to count, I kept it 100 too. I be on my Kendrick shit, really about to humble you. Never ever drop the ball, no, I never fumbled.